was from 1967, and if I don't know my dates, uh, Eddie Brigatti from the Rascals will tell us what I don't know already. So, Eddie, thanks for being part of the Teddy Smith Six Year Reunion Show here at WTAT, along with Jim Petrecka, who produced the show. Hey, and Teddy, this is Eddie. It's in, uh, 1967, and uh, it's uh, many keys ago. Many keys ago. That's right. But those keys are still are still moving along with the great things that you're doing today that you've done before. Yeah, the, the story goes on. The stories go on, and um, we're storytellers. Basically, there's other names for us. <laughs> but basically, um, we got together and told stories and have an incredible history, starting with Brother Dave. Dave, uh, I'm, I'm sure you had the uh, pleasure of uh, jousting with Dave. No, actually, Ralph Romeo did tonight on his show right before mine. I heard the whole interview. It was terrific. Great interview, Ralph. Yeah, Dave was great. He was yeah, great. terrific, Dave Brigadi, your brother. And there's so many great, great, great historical moments in your life and the life of those people from the Rascals, from the group. Yes, yes. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a, an anthology. Thanks, Johnny, for coming. It's, uh, you don't even editorialize about it. You put the songs together, and Dave comes in uh, with an acapella group and, and develops uh, you know, six songs on Decca Records. Mm -hmm. As a teenager, I guess he was 1958 and 17. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he affiliated Joey and, and Dave, uh, Joey D, uh, in the beginning of the 1960s. And that was actually, um, uh, that was my training ground. You know, my older brother uh, it was my idol. And uh, we really, uh, uh, did, I, I, I call it a co biography. Right, that's a, that's a good way to put it. When did you first meet Felix Cavalieri? When did that take place? Uh, the Choo Choo Club in Garfield, New Jersey. Felix came in with a band called the Escorts. Mm -hmm. so it was probably 1963, because I just finished high school. Uh, I graduated high school in Garfield High School in 1963. And Felix came in and he did this soulful, Italian, uh, wonderful singer. and. Um, you know, I was allowed to stay in this bar. We had cousins, um, they were cousins of ours. So being underage and stuff like that, they let me come in and watch Wednesday auditions. I like, I like auditions. I'm not, I was never good at them, but I like them. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's just Stephen Van Zandt. Yeah, I was going to say, you're doing work with Stephen Van Zandt right now, aren't you? Yeah, he's a, a he's my uh, hero. He's my, he's... Uh, probably the best uh, um, producer of the Rascal catalog in history. Um, you know, he produced that wonderful show we had. Of course, on Broadway, yeah. Got some, some of the best. Yeah, I never dreamed, you know, that we'd do it. And then Broadway on top of it was the cherry, on top of the icing of the cherry. What was your great moment with Steve on, the, uh, on, on Broadway, being on that, on that great show that you did with him? Well, he gave it full. Uh, he's a brilliant, brilliant musician. Uh, he's a very generous person. He's, he's a strong, strong advocate of education for children. Uh, I just did a, a thing on, on um, in Long Island, the Long Island Music um, uh, Hall of Fame, and I, uh, I presented to Johnny Farina, who's another dear friend of mine, ours, and... Um, after Stephen Vai was there and blew me away. He played with uh, Johnny Farina. It's on YouTube. Everybody can go look at it. And he played Sleepwalk, which is uh, the national anthem for the Italians. <laughs> you know, it's the Italian uh, contingent. But uh, it was wonderful. And Stephen, um, Stephen was awarded also. And he was awarded for his educational contributions. And he's... Um, a lot of people talk about, you know, uh, giving it back and putting it back. Stephen puts it back plus, and uh, he did. He did it, and he's, he's my mentor. He's uh, he's really um, I, he gave us the big, the best production ever, and he spared no, he spared nothing. He had the incredible amounts of money, but his genius, his perspective, his writing the capabilities. It was uh, the highest I've ever performed in, and uh, we did a, a great run. We did uh, 71 shows, and we did a couple weeks on Broadway. And, um, you know, I'm still working. He's still working on me with me, 
to to me, from me, for me, and uh, it's it's weird because he's he's asked me to uh, <laughs> he's asked me to learn a couple of things from Broadway, and uh, I never dreamed that I would be. Uh, uh, how about the uh, your experience with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? That's that's a great thing. Yeah, that was uh, that was a momentous occasion. That was. Um, he, he introduced, Stephen introduced us there, and he did this parody. Uh, he had our uniform on, and it's about time. And uh, David Chase actually saw Stephen on there and drafted him into the Sopranos. <laughs> so um, this is old history. I mean, sitting at a table with uh, Stephen Vai and Johnny Farina and, and Stephen next to me, that's heady, uh, that's heady company that I, uh, I dream to... Uh, Stay in their company, and uh, it's a, a mutual admiration society. Lovely. This is the height of, of uh, you couldn't expect anything more, and at the same time, they keep producing more. It would be great to have you and Steven in here in the studio sometime and uh, part of the, the show. I mean, you can go through the, all, the, all the history of rock and roll right here with you no, and Steven. I'll drive him. And you'll drive. Uh, Jim said he'll drive you. <laughs> drive you in. A tremendous historian, Steven. And um, he, he really um, he really knows his facts, and he interweaves it, you know the garage, the underground garage, and he interweaves the real history with the uh, you know the uh, television history, and uh, he knows probably more than um, just about it, as much as anybody, let's say. Uh, he knows about the music uh, business, and he's an advocate for keeping. Music and and art in um, the schools uh, is waning. They try to push it out. <laughs> He's approached the, the Democrats and Republicans of Congress, and when they, when they said they couldn't help, uh, he knew that he had to do something, do something, guy. And the whole. Um, the whole attraction is wrapped up in a big, beautiful ball because he's also a renegade. Right. How about the song "Groovin" that you wrote about the uh, the young rascals "Groovin"? That's a that's a, one of the one of the best around. And that too, yes. And you're still doing well after all these years. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you, you get, once you got 50 years to practice, it should come natural. Hey, can we hear that again? <laughs> And then we had to take the crows out. <laughs> I see something happened. Uh, any any last uh, words of advice you'd like to give our audience out there, or about what you're doing in the next uh, in, in uh, 2017? Uh, we know you've done the thing on Broadway, and you're doing other stuff with Steve. And anything else you want to share with us tonight? The philosophy of music, okay? Uh, music is is. Um, we like to get to the, the dance. Native American, you know, life is a dance that we're dancing through, and sometimes it's frenetic, and sometimes it's very beautiful. And music is uh, music is an inspiration to everybody everywhere, and it's interdimensional. It goes, it starts here and goes up into the ethers, and it inspires us to go on, to move on, to keep moving, and lifting, and rising, and cooperating. As much as it's difficult uh, for some, you know, people and, and circumstances, we do nothing alone. Right, right. So, how would you like to uh, wrap up this uh, event tonight in terms of uh, what you'd like to say about your career, your life, or the history of rock and roll, or just just generally speaking about the six years that we've been here on this radio show? Yeah. You are the catalyst. You guys, you guys keep the channels open, and people are attracted to it because you must be doing something right the last six years. Well, we're trying, you know, especially with these great new artists that we have in here that are going to sing here live on the radio tonight, and people like yourself, new artists, old artists, today's artists. Hey, everyone has something to share about their lives and about their music. That brings that brings me to. I'm at an open mic in Boone, New Jersey. We have every third Friday. Uh, we get here and. The talent, the youth, the children, the whole community is positive. We just set up a stage and mics and everything, and it's all volunteer. You're all welcome to come and visit. But this is the last little thing I'm going to tell you. About three weeks ago, in honor of uh, Frank Sinatra, two, two, two weeks ago, 
centennial. I never did Sinatra. You know, I, I was too young, and uh, he's very sophisticated, and he was older. Dave was maybe more to him. But I channeled these songs, uh, Seven the Clowns, and, uh, in, you know, we did a, a, a little medley. And naturally, you have to do two rascal songs. I did Groovin' and How Can I Be Sure? And it's a different thing now. It's a different... You know, I, I sing like an adult male. <laughs> and Sinatra was a character, and I, I, you know, I, I take that as a study. It's like I'm going in the gym, and Stephen says that, you know, I got these seven Broadway songs, and I don't say no. I learn them to my surprise. I love them. And, you know, Tony Danza and Karen King are sending the food over momentarily. We'll save you a sandwich, okay? At least two to three. Tony Gumbar, Carol. Yeah. Uh, these are these are fellow and, and female fellas, fellas. What's the the, the, the female fellow? Uh, fellow is fellow is a good uh, generic term. But these are people. These are 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 are, are consistent uh, relatives. And I, I encourage everybody to to sing your song, create your music, play your instrument, express yourself. And do it with some other people that uh, compliment you here we go. and inspire you. And uh, it's a privilege for me to have this voice here. And I uh, wish you many, many more years. And someday we'll have to uh, get together and uh, sit around and talk about more music. That's good. Or come down to Delmonico's. <laughs> okay. It's right around the corner. You can't miss it. Well, we're going to play Groove in your song. Although you have to do it a lot. Oh, there it is. You got it? <laughs> now, Dave. <coughs> Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim Petreca, Eddie Brigatti, the Rascals here at WBAC. Thanks, Eddie. This was on Ruben, too.